Ladies and gentlemen. In the heart of Washington, D.C., there stands a building that is famous not only for being the residence and workplace of the Presidents of the United States but also for the mysterious events and supernatural occurrences associated with it. That building is none other than the White House. This iconic structure is not just a symbol of power and political history for the United States, but also a place full of mysteries that few people know about. The White House has witnessed countless historical events. But alongside these events, there are numerous strange stories involving spirits, apparitions, and unexplained phenomena. So, what makes the White House so special? Is it really a place where the spirits of the past still linger? And are these stories as terrifying as they sound? Let's delve into some of these strange events and find out together. The first strange event, Mary Todd Lincoln and the Seance You've likely heard of President Abraham Lincoln, who led the United States through the Civil War. But what you might not know is that even in the 1860s, Mary Todd Lincoln, the First Lady, conducted a seance in the White House. This wasn't just any ordinary event. Mary Todd Lincoln, in an attempt to communicate with her deceased son, William, who had died at the age of eleven, turned to mediums and spiritualists. What's extraordinary is that, during one of these seances, she reportedly made contact with the spirit of her son in the White House. This story became one of the first recorded paranormal occurrences at this historic building. Since then, countless ghost stories and supernatural occurrences have been associated with the White House making it not only a place of political power but also a house filled with the unexplained. Strange events during the Obama administration A more recent story comes from the Obama administration. One of the strange occurrences happened during a children's event held at the White House. As shared by First Lady Michelle Obama. One night, while the family was trying to sleep, strange sounds began echoing through the entrance hall. These weren't the usual noises one might expect in such a large building. But distinct sounds that couldn't easily be explained. Both President Obama and Michelle were unable to sleep and decided to get up and investigate. They checked all around the house. But the source of the sounds could not be found. What's even stranger is that some family members later reported feeling as though something invisible was gnawing at their toes in the night. This eerie experience was one of the many supernatural encounters the Obama family faced while living in the White House. Abraham Lincoln's Spirit and His Bedroom When you think of Abraham Lincoln, it's impossible not to also think of his death in 1865. But what many don't realize is that Lincoln's spirit is believed to still haunt the White House. Particularly his bedroom, which is one of the most famous rooms in the building. Though there's no concrete evidence that Lincoln ever slept in the famous bed known as the Lincoln Bed, many have claimed to see his ghost in this room. Staff members, from guards to dignitaries, have shared their own stories about encounters with Lincoln's spirit. The Lincoln Bedroom has long been considered one of the most haunted rooms in the White House. And many who've worked there have reported sensing Lincoln's presence at night. The strange thing is that those who encountered his spirit often described him as a peaceful and benign figure. With no malevolent intentions. Winston Churchill's Encounter with Lincoln's Spirit One of the most famous ghost stories associated with the White House involves British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. In December 1941, Churchill was staying at the White House while visiting the United States. After a long day, he retired for the night. After taking a hot bath, Churchill entered the Lincoln bedroom to rest, only to be startled by the sight of a man standing by the fireplace. Upon closer inspection, Churchill realized the figure was none other than the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. Although Churchill was initially shocked, he remained calm and, in a characteristic show of composure, lit a cigar and politely greeted the apparition, Good evening. Mr. President. 
Lincoln simply smiled and disappeared. The next morning, Churchill shared the strange encounter with those around him and even stated that he would never return to that room. He insisted that his belongings be moved to a different bedroom. Abraham Lincoln's Prophetic Dreams There's another famous story tied to Abraham Lincoln. This time involving his prophetic dreams. In the months leading up to his assassination in 1865, Lincoln experienced a series of strange dreams. In one such dream, he saw a coffin in the White House, surrounded by four soldiers. One of the soldiers informed him that the body inside the coffin was none other than President Lincoln himself. A few days later, on April 14, 1865, Lincoln's dream came true when he was assassinated. Some believe that Lincoln's spirit never truly left the White House, continuing to haunt its halls long after his death. Famous Ghost Stories at the White House During Halloween A former White House staff member, Gary Walters, responded to an online question about the ghost stories surrounding the building. Walters was candid in his response, saying, while there is no official record, these things are real. The ghost stories associated with the White House are not just rumors, but real experiences reported by those who have lived and worked there. One of the most well-known ghost stories is the encounter between Prime Minister Winston Churchill and the spirit of Abraham Lincoln, which has been documented as one of the most famous paranormal occurrences at the White House. Conclusion and Reflection the ghost stories at the White House have persisted through many generations. From President Lincoln's time to the present day, the spirits of figures like Abraham Lincoln are not only said to haunt the building, but they have also become an integral part of the White House's cultural and historical legacy. Do these phenomena truly represent the presence of spirits? Or are they simply the product of overactive imaginations? If these spirits do exist, are they trying to convey something to us? What do you think about these mysterious events? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below this video. Thank you for watching. And we hope to see you again for more intriguing ghost stories in the future.